Uh, so, Hoops, how do you reflect on the players leaving Bath Rugby probably a little bit earlier than expected? Yeah, I think first and foremost, um, I think it's really difficult for them to leave in these circumstances. When I think back to when I finished playing and any of my teammates who've finished, there is, um, you know, the, the last game at the rec, the opportunity to say thank you to the fans, the opportunity to put on the jersey one last time. And yeah, the opportunity for your family to kind of be there and, and celebrate and, and you to thank them for all the support. You know, that's taken away from those guys. So I do feel for them in that regard. But evidently it's where we are and it's a situation way beyond all of our control. But uh, yeah, we will make the best effort we possibly can to say thank you and goodbye to those guys uh, in the right possible way. And um, what will new signings like Jun Schumann, um, Will and Ben Spencer bring to the current squad, both on and off the field for you know the remainder of the 2019-20 season? Yeah, I think it's fair to say they all bring something slightly different. Um, Will obviously returning to the club, he's had a really, a really uh, strong rugby journey, and and he's someone who I played with when he left the club. I was bitterly disappointed that he left, but but looking back now, it's um you know it's done him well. It's developed him really well. Uh, he went to Worcester and he took over control of the line out there and really developed as a player. At which point he got picked up by Leicester and went there and you know continued to develop. To welcome him back is massive. He's, he's passionate about the club. To have him now in the building and or nearly in the building and and ready to go and, and, and get back playing in the blue, black and white is really, really exciting. Uh, Juan, who's who's joining us from the Sharks, he, he's, a, he's a strong loose head and he, he brings um, a real attitude to want to improve, to get better. Um, he's coming over here, you know, with his young family and, and really immersing himself in life at Bath and looking to develop and to grow and be part of this uh, formidable pack that we're putting together. Uh, and then last but not least, Ben Spencer. Um, probably doesn't need a huge amount of uh, introduction as, as someone who's been at Saris for nine years, um, been involved in a lot of their successes um, and, and recently obviously on the bench for England in the World Cup final. He, he's a competitor, um, he's someone who will increase our, our speed of ball through the middle of the field and allow us you know, to, to play the ball. Like he comes into a competitive number nine position with, with Chuds, with uh, Greeny and Ollie Fox. So. There's some real competition for places there, but Ben comes in with experience of winning. He comes in as a experience of being an international and somebody also is at a, a point in his career where he wants to get better. And um, yeah, we're, we're delighted that he's chosen Bath to do that. Um, we've announced um, recently a wealth of contracts for our pathway players, um, in particular the seven coming through into the senior academy. What can those players expect coming into camp at Farley? I think it's um, you know it's testament to the work that went in over the last number of years into the pathway. Um, the guys who come through this year, are, uh, they're coming into a competitive squad. The, the second year academy guys now have had a really good run at it. They've had a great year physically, getting themselves prepared. And these young guys come in, um, yeah, with a platform really, a, a platform to come in to prove themselves in a professional environment, to develop at the right pace. Like our guys will work closely with them so they develop at the right pace, but. They've all got the potential to be Premiership players and beyond that as well. So hugely exciting to get all seven of them in the building and, and start working with them and, and start really um, not just developing them individually, but developing them as a group who can really be um, the core of this club for a number of years to come. We're continuing to add to the club's ambitions of achieving a 50% homegrown squad by 2023. How happy are you with its current development and how close are we to achieving this? Strategically, it's the direction we're headed and the work we've done with the group in getting them to this point is, uh, you know, it's testament to all the work that people do right from right through the pathway through the first team. And we, we've always got to strategically push towards 50% homegrown. I believe it's the right way to make a championship winning team and develop a championship winning team. And with that, we've got to keep working on, you know, the, 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 the rest of the group and the, the real quality that we've got. And we're always going to attract quality. We're always going to attract players from around the world. And rightly so. Um, we want the best. We want the people at Bath who can perform and, and really push us to be that championship winning team. But um, these homegrown guys become the core of the team. They become the, the glue that, that binds it together. And um, yeah, I'm excited about working with them.